we'll quickly move on to our next speaker for this evening. He is an aviation enthusiast, a Hyderabad runner, and Isha meditator. He works with Isha. Uh, but the most interesting one I found was he's a beach body advisor. So, Mr. Vijay Yargal, could you tell us what beach body advisor means yeah. before you begin? Uh, beach body is a major health and fitness industry in US. So, they are doing a lot of, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a massive movement there in US. So, they are taking children and the old and the young uh, towards the active lifestyle with so much in fitness trainers there. So, we do here some of those administration and we do the marketing here. So, we work from here. And uh, I'm very blessed enough that Beachbody is helping me with all their world class supplements. So they send across right here. And when is your next ultra run? So we are going to provide you the supplements. They are my supplements provider. So. Yeah. First of all, I'm very thankful enough to stand in front of you all. I'm very happy enough. And. Uh, so uh, uh, again, uh, it's, 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 it's a beautiful journey across and I moved from Bangalore to Hyderabad in 2013. And I was just searching you know, what kind of activity I have. I, I was a very uh, enthusiastic tennis player and a football. So uh, just I joined Gymkhana Football Club and there are a lot of kids, uh, all of us 16, 17. And so then the coach said, where are you going to fit in? You're already 34, where are you going to fit in? So I, I, I can fit in anywhere. So, I can run until uh, they can, nobody can stop me. I can run. I don't have the skills to play, but I can make them run. I can make the kids run there. So somehow he's a, a former retired football player. In 1987, he represented India in SAF football games by name Mr. Ashok. Then he said that, come, you, know, you can do some little change here with the kids. You know. So that's how it started here. And uh, gradually, uh, I felt myself, no, I need to give some space for the children here. So then I was searching. And it is uh, sometimes during the rainy season, it is very tough for me to find a space. Uh, to be active, so then one day, fine, I found this yellow T-shirt, people running in uh, Sanjeev Park, and I stay nearby to Sanjeev Park. And uh, what is this? You know, they are Hyderabad runners. You know, then it's fantastic. So I'll, uh, then uh, Rajesh sir, I met him. So he said that in order to be a part of Hyderabad runners, you have to run a couch to 5K. So in, uh, it's all started in 2015. So I ran couch to 5K. It's a five kilometers run, and I'm very happy. Still, I released that first medal. It's the first medal of my whole uh, running, uh, whatever I, I did so far. So it's the first uh, medal I have. Still, I relish a lot. And uh, thereafter, I was just searching, you know, like, what are the runs I can make? Be more of an incline to a na nature lover. So then one day, I come across this Sangla Marathon. It's, it's, a, it's the last village on the Indo-Tibet border in the Himalayan mountains. And it's an altitude run. And, uh, but there is always a kind of a other face is always coming to me, you know, like running for cause and running for purpose. There is always an intention towards that. There is an inclination, there is kind of an escalation towards that. Just running, have some purpose and have some reason. So, but I was searching for a purpose and a reason to run. Uh, until then, it's, it's a kind of a fulfilling joy for me to run. And I reached Himalayan mountains. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful village and uh, good landscapes. Whenever you open the doors of the windows, you'll find only mountains with a snow cap. And uh, I was just walking through that route. It was some eight kilometers away from where, the, where I had to collect my bib. And uh, Rahul Vergis was the race director for that, running and living. And I went there, and I was about to go to that route. And I was relishing, and uh, just a fellow of that village came. You know, Shall I drop you? Where are you going? No, I'm just going to collect my bib. And uh, he, was, uh, he was from the health community there working. He dropped me there and uh, come, I'll, uh, first I'll show my uh, health community here and later you can go and pick your bib. By the time we had a little talk over there and we are so inspired, he is so inspired. No, I'm not a runner, I'm a chain smoker. But what I can do is I will go and run 21K with you, he said. I will also go and register. It's a spot registration for me and I'll also come with you and do the spot registration. And it was, it was such a fabulous, you know, then... Uh, we started talking and we got that uh, Himalayan run and all stuff. There were many participants in 21K and 42. That was uh, my first K. You know. Of course, that was my first K in an altitude run. And uh, there was a participant by name Anil. He is an IS officer from Lucknow. And he was there with his family. And then we are there. And I was leading the 21K group. And uh, by 15 kilometers, 16 kilometers, I was leading. And he passed me around 9 kilometers. It was just you have to reach 12.5. There was a Karcham Lake, and again you had to come back to the Banjara Hills. That's the one. And so, in the in the mid of the journey, I was while I was running, he said that could you wait for a second, please? And I was like, what? And uh, I have a daughter and a wife here, so my daughter will be happy if she sees me reaching the podium first. 
<laughs> so by the time we shared some of the instances where you come from, I am from Hyderabad, Hyderabad runners and all stuff. Then uh, are, yeah, it's just a seven kilometers for me, you know, I'm spacing like anything. No, you are now you would have told me earlier I would have I would have slowed down a bit. Then I, I, I slowed down. I slowed down and even Rahul work is the race director. What happened to you? You know, suddenly what happened? No, I had some cramps. And then that Anil, he, who was an uh, IS officer, then he passed me and it's fine. Then he won the podium and all stuff. He got that because uh, that Sangla Marathon is something where you get that Sangla traditional topi. The winner gets that Sangla traditional topi. So it's like his daughter was very happy that my father came first and he got that Sangla topi. She, she relished a lot. I came second and all stuff. Some of the village runners where I had an interaction. They said that, what happened to you? You, know, you, you were just leading and we want you to run the, uh, win this race. You know, what happened? No, it's just I had some cramps. And, but after that run, and the way, the kind of a bliss of happiness, and with the bliss of happiness, what he had, there was a sudden change of a kind of a human movement in me. Earlier, I was just a runner. And more than runner, you should be a better human to run that race and also. So th that was a, like, uh, this is Dusro Kelia. Somehow I found that, uh, this idiom there itself, uh, just, uh, I, I ran, I ran for him, it's fine, no, it's fine and his daughter is happy and also, then it went ahead and, uh, and uh, the person I met and uh, who supported me in that village and uh, he said that I have two children and uh, I don't have my wife so they are staying 300 kilometers away from this village, can you go and meet before going to Delhi while in my return journey? He said that just they will feel happy when he, somebody meets them and also. And what's going to happen? It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll just meet them for a five minutes or 15 minutes and then uh, I will return to my place here. And uh, I saw the children, I met them for half an hour and I couldn't make that place. Uh, how can I, you know, I'll stay for another five hours. Let, let, me, let me talk to them and you know, what's going on. They were just like, they were studying in 10th and 9th and all stuff. And uh, yeah, that happened and so, What's, what's the cause here? No, like I have to get this cause along with my running here. So then I, I, I supported them. The children are here now with me. So he sent me them and uh, because the, I, I can be a mother for them and I can take care of them because uh, as of uh, nutritional value and health and also if I can take care. And today she is here. So uh, she is Shweta. And uh, yeah, we gave her direction. And uh, her parents visit here. Father comes every winter holidays and stays with me. Like, and uh, running is something which he never stopped and I never stopped because of this. There are a lot of champion calls are happening. And we brought them here and uh, she got a medical seat this time and she's shortly going to and help. And what, I, what we are, there's a, cause, there's a cause is there that we need to serve along with that. And she's there and the fellow is, is he's at home. So always my mother makes a mockery at me, you know, don't go here and there and bring children again. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a kind of a beautiful experience for me and as it says, so it's always, uh, there is always a face is there, that kind of a human face when I run. And uh, then apart from this, there are many runners here and uh, when I met Rajesh sir, Shiv here and Shiva sir is here. And they are, they are a part of this human faces, I can say. A lot of sacrifices they have done to come forward and make this uh, Hyderabad, AHM. Uh, I can't call this as a philanthropic movement, but certainly it's a human movement. It's a massive human movement, the way the charity partners are coming and uh, they are raising funds with the help of uh, ATL Hyderabad Marathon. And it's, it's a huge opportunity for all the charity uh, fundraisers. And uh, I personally uh, involved with uh, Isha Vidya Marathon, so running for the cause of children. Now I supported two children, so let me extend to a greater version and uh, let me, uh, it's a kind of a escalation, yeah, it's a kind of a escalation trap for me. So whenever I just go through that runs, you know, so this is what I have to reach here and uh, so this year and a lot of uh, meditators, we need to bring them and uh, because Isha with the meditators, many Isha meditators are there in Hyderabad, so we are inspiring them to come forward and run even 5k, 10k, so that they can raise funds at least two to 3,000. Last year we raised around 14 lakhs, so this time, uh, which directly goes to all those uh, Isha with their schools. They are, they are just nature, they are, they are just uh, believe in the nature, the schools. And uh, there are also, there are three schools in Andhra and Telangana. So most of them in Tamil Nadu, around Coimbatore. 
So this is one of the cause where I ran for uh, Isha with the children, uh, spreading the smiles of Isha with the children through ATL Hyderabad Marathon. And uh, so this is the cause and I, I love this. Uh, so it, it, it makes me, you know, uh, like I'm everywhere. So I, I just want to continue with this. And uh, so far for this uh, Isha with their runners, it's very hard to motivate the uh, runners of meditators because they always believe that we have a healthy lifestyle called yoga. I used to tell them, yoga is fine, but uh, running is something you know, which it makes you more happier. So come and join. Uh, so this time we welcome them. Come, uh, we have a centers here and we have trainers. I myself is a trainer. Come, I, I, I don't know, but uh, I can pull you up and wake you up in the early in the morning. So we have raised some centers here. And uh, apart from AHM, there are many centers here. I used to tell them, come with your you know, relatives and anything. And they, they used to tell themselves, is it for free? It's, 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 it's just a human moment. So there is no worth for the cause or the reason. So you just come and uh, train with us, it, even though it is 5 or 10K. So run for charity and uh, raise the funds. And it's a global. And uh, shortly by this year, I'll be running uh, from Hyderabad to Coimbatore. So to, it's, it's a global uh, fundraising for me. And uh, something we are working. Something we are working on there. Because I visited one of the schools in uh, Isha Vidya. Uh, so I went there. And a small kid came, it was on a second or third standard, and it said, thank you. It, it's, it's a so immense feeling I got. She said, thank you. She knows that. We can't, uh, uh, she knows that she's from uh, Tamil. She can, she can speak in Tamil, but I, she knows that we can't understand Tamil and we can't speak. And she just said, thank you. It's, it's, it's kind of a, what's happened? It's such a kid came, she came voluntary and said thank you to us. Because she has that awareness. These are the people who are running and raising funds for us so that we can study and we can grow up. And those are all undeserved children, and, but, but they are now well-deserved. And all the schools are in top uh, in Tamil Nadu. They have, as of this 10th, uh, results have come up. So all the centers have performed well. It's all 100%. So that's one of the cause. And uh, this time I told to the Isha Vidya here in Hyderabad Center. So we'll give you 500 runners from this time. Uh, 500 people. Last time it was 240. And we are, fo we are just pushing them, right? Uh, yoga is fine, come for running. So this is EHM. And uh, EHM has given us such a wonderful platform for all these charity found foundations to raise funds. And, uh, and nothing, it's, it's, it's a great cause that EHM is doing. And um, it's just a small person that I'm involved in it. And apart from this, my uh, ultra runnings, in between I'll find time for myself and uh, I'll keep running. There is no time for me, either it is morning or uh, late, late afternoon or evening or night. I'll just keep running whenever I have time, either it is from office or it's from wherever it is. Either it's from airport also, I'll, I'll just keep running. And uh, I did my last previous was my run the run in Kutch Desert. It was 100 miles and uh, 161 kilometers and I did it in 37 hours. So uh, that's... Uh, Yeah, and uh, that was a desert run and a lot of uh, things going on before that run and I met one fellow, again, the tag, Dusron Ke Liye. So there was a one runner from Calcutta and uh, he was a newspaper seller and he was badly in need of money. He needs a cash price and uh, unfortunately he was unable to pay the money to get a headlight and a backpack. A headlight and a backpack is very essential uh, to run ultra marathons, more than 24 hours or 48 hours. So that's what, and uh, then we said that, yeah, take, take this headlight and keep running. And uh, in between, we have an experience to run without the headlights. So in between, we'll meet and we can exchange a bit. So that fellow actually did it phenomenally well. And uh, this is my uh, small runs are there. But more than that, and uh, I'm very grateful, the, co the cause that uh, AHM and Hyderabad runners are having, Baglo Dusrin Kilia. So it's, 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 it's blissful. And once you touch that human moment, then only you'll understand that bliss of happiness. It's, it's phenomenal. It's a massive. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vijay. I just want to compliment him. Don't you see the look on his face, the smile and glow that he has? No, he really is part of the Isha Foundation. I follow Sadhguruji myself. I'm a big fan, devotee, whatever you say. But you can see it for yourself on his face. So do follow him. Do follow what Isha Yoga says. And do keep running. Thank you so much for your talk. Any questions for him? Any question? One, we have time for one quick question, I think. Anyone else has a question for him? Okay, I'll go with one question. When you say run for 37 hours, is it 37 hours straight or do you have a break in between? Uh, we had uh, two breaks.
breaks. Uh, we had two breaks after 54 kilometers. It's a one full break of physiotherapy with the help of physiotherapist. 54 kilometers and 114 kilometers. So those are the two breaks we had. That is a half an hour, half an hour. And it depends upon the individual whether he can take half an hour or not. So, but I took after 114. So I had a half an hour rest. And, uh, but it's phenomenal. There's running in the desert, a lot of uh, resilience. And uh, there we come to know that it's not just endurance. It's, it's more of a resistance. Lol. That's it. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Vijay, once again, and keep smiling. Thank you so much.